Okay, hello, good morning everyone. So today video we are continue to learning about the develop the AutoSAR ad adaptive software component uh, following the AutoSAR playlist in uh, uh, YouTube in my channel. So if you guys not seen two video I released uh, yesterday and uh, two days ago about the uh, basic of AutoSAR, so please visit my uh, channel here and uh, you will see uh, two video I released uh, uh, this week. So okay, so come back for the today. We will uh, develop uh, continue the adaptive software component. So uh, following the uh, auto side user manual from MATLAB simply, so you can uh, visit um, uh, directly to uh, MATLAB simply on um, uh, every website to download it, or you can uh, inbox me to uh, to keep the two manual here. So which uh, so the first one we will compare between the uh, classic platform and analytic platform. What is this? What the uh, difference between the uh, two pl uh, platform? So the first one we will see directly the programming language for the classic EC and C++ for analytic platform uh, for sure. And we have a different operating system is the Babot for classic platform and POSIT for adaptive platform. And we have the real time requirement is for classic is hard and um, adaptive is a short and computing lower and communication, safety and security, a dynamic uplifting, a level of standardization, also high development uh, for classic in nodes and adaptive is yes. So I will um, to the uh, auto software active uh, common learning so uh, let's see what they offer here and I will open the my lab simply okay so here is directly page from uh, my labs uh, documentation is config auto adaptive software component so first uh, let's see the introduction then auto adaptive software component uh, provide and consume service uh, each software component contains the automotive algorithm which perform the task in response to receive event and require and provide ports which uh, associate with the surface interface and uh, the surface interface associate with uh, event and associated with the namespace. Uh, so uh, I will open this example from uh, my lab. And you will see here the uh, land guidance algorithm. So what is inside here? We can see we have two EPLs uh, block, which means the uh, determine the algorithm for the uh, land guidance. So okay, so the first one we need to do is here the config the code generation so I will click on the modeling and click the model setting and the first one we will need to set the symptom target file to the adaptive model so I choose the adaptive not TLC here and click OK and this one, we will see the language is C++ for the adaptive model and the tool chain is auto adaptive CMAT. And we see the interface here for the code interface packing in C++ class already. And then you click apply and OK. So the second step and uh, in uh, guidance you need to uh, set for even recorder, uh, even receive and even send. So I will check the even receive for the input and same even send for output. Okay. And then just copy and page. Okay. 
Okay, for the next step, we will map the algorithm model to an AutoSA tip software component. So what you need to do is you click on the app and you choose the AutoSA component. I choose the favorite here. And the quick start uh, appears. So common name in line guidance, common package is common. Name. And you just uh, click. And then you click on nice and then finish. Okay, so uh, for the AutoSA uh, software, for this uh, algorithm, we will already configure it. And then you can see the code mapping here for the all the inputs and output. You can click here to see. Okay, we have the totally sick input. And we have the two output. So the next one I use a save edit in the particular name. Why I will say new project. I love it. Oh, and I save the mice. How to say? Do. Okay, the land. Enter. And then we will see the code mapping and we choose the code dictionary and we see the required part and you click in the required part and we see the all the contribution for the required part here it is the not identify is one and this one for surface interface you can expand to see the required interface you see the event here and you see the name here so you can um, define unique name so for example I you define the three uh, unique name first one is company for example and the symbol is company uh, the second one is for the chassis And the symbol is chassis also. And the third is a require. The symbol require. Okay. And the XML option, and you choose the export to the single file. And then you click apply and turn on. And you come back to the model. Modeling and you will set the code interface here, the in the code interface, code placement, the file code packing, the file packing format to the compact, and you click apply and then OK. So OK here, so all the uh, parameter already configured right so the final one we will uh, generation code from AutoSA window so we can click on generate code okay perfect so the code appears already is appear so here is a code generation generation report so uh, we have the summary report all the other the information of course the location and the sub symptom reports also uh, we have the code interface report the what is the inside post function the uh, all the function all the imports here and then we have the traceability report 
maybe chase all the evil received, even sent or uh, land garden algorithm. And then then which code we have the C plus plus file here for the more model file here, and we have the save file for the header, and we have the interface file for the auto side XME any question of the auto side tip software component. And we have the main file in the other files, the main unit here, the main TCP, and the final one is auto side runtime other tips. I will have fine. Okay, so let's see the code here. I will zoom bigger. So here is the CPP C plus plus file for. So you can review the code by uh, here, and of course we you can do here to the auto uh, it can be fine for example, and you can see the main unit happy pay and the main CCP also, okay, and uh, auto SAR, our time other tip model here. Okay, so very powerful to to generate code so directly. So you no need to uh, to go to uh, one by one. So okay, this uh, conclude the video. I hope you guys enjoy the uh, learning the how to start on my channel, and I hope you guys uh, and I thank you very much. And I see you in the next video for how to start. See you later.